Next up, let's create a custom connector. All right, so I already had one. Let's create a new one. Mm. Let's call this company connects because I will assume that you will be having other stuff as well. There. Take good core, let's just do pink. There we go. GTPS. Mm. Uh, let's use our ng rock for now. Base URL API. I'm not going to enforce security right now. Something that we will likely want to do later. Let's create a new trigger. This is what we need to get from the subscribe here. This is the subscribe. It's doing a post to there. And we're going to use Let's copy it from over here. Oh no, I need to post it to G rock of course. So let me copy the ng rock URL. Yeah slash user data options oh. should be in the body and then imports okay so now we have the requests response is generated from your service when an event Webhook is registered for occurs. Do not need to define the response of the request in case of it. Define the response that is generated from your service when an event the webhook is registered for occurs. So I would expect that could be just an empty in this case because yeah. Right. Call back your rules over there. Set request. 
required an internal visibility. Edit. Edit. Required, yes. It's also required. Go. The web will create a response required to specify your location header. Show your which will be used to delete the webbook registration. You must define the path of the delete webbook request as an internal action. So, okay, the web creation response is required to specify a location header. I've done that before. Check that out. Mm. I have not deleted it. Create webhook. This way we can specify how to delete it actually. All right. So instead, our subscribe should not return. Okay, so this will specify a location header. Basically what we like to do, so we take the requests URL, we take the path, which basically is slash API slash user data options. And we want to add the row key, which is the title. So basically we get WAC API, WAC user data options, WAC title for the unsubscribe. And in this particular case, we use the body for the unsubscribe, but we're gonna change that to use the ID instead. And the ID like that and that way we know so it's a little bit different now for unsubscribing and we used previously 
about. Let's check this out first. Okay, cool. So now if we want to subscribe, we use the same format. That should still work. Bam, there it is. But this time we should have a location. There it is. Header. And we should be able to use this location header to unsubscribe. And we don't need a body anymore. Well, this is probably not going to work. Error. Post. Hey, okay. nice. Why is that strange? Two hundred. Okay, mm, but did it actually delete it? Yes. So let's register it. Bam, there it is. Remove it. Bam, it's gone. Perfect. So now it's using the location header. Get rid of that. Um, all right. So that was that. So now we just need to define the action. So that was the first part that we did. So we have we are required to specify location header, value of which will be used to delete webhook registration. And then you must define the path of the delete webhook request as an internal action. So we need to do that as well. So we create new action. User data option and delete a user data option. Naming convention later. Subscribe mm. user data option. It must be internal. And the request is actually a delete going to the ng rock. slash API slash user data options slash and then ID. We don't need the header. <coughs> we don't need the body. There we go. And we have just plain all right, let's create it. Let's check it out. <laughs> 